Hello fellow React enthusiasts, I'm Greg with Studio 42 Web Development. If you're watching this video, chances are you've at least used React uh, and probably Shocker UI and Green Sock Animation Project. If not, no worries. Uh, this tutorial requires very basic knowledge of JavaScript, NPM, CSS, React, and React component libraries. Now today I'm going to show you how to create a scroll to top button that will fade in when the user scrolls down. Uh, and when you, the user clicks the button, the page will scroll smoothly to the top and then fade the button out. I have a link to the GitHub repository, with two branches, uh, Starter and TLDR. Uh, Starter branch has our scaffolding from Create React App, but nothing that we've added. And if you haven't figured it out already, TLDR is the branch with the completed code. Uh, feel free to use this in your next application with Chakra UI and GSAP. Now we'll uh, get started over in the terminal uh, by running npx create react app and we'll call our application scroll to top and then we'll go ahead and use our Chakra UI template for that. So there we go. We'll fire that up and this will create a new uh, React application with the Chakra UI template baked in. So uh, and if you haven't already, I strongly suggest that you check them out as there are two libraries that are growing quickly in popularity in the front end community and for good reason. Uh, Chakra UI is a component library that handles style uh, with the provider props pattern and makes it easy to incorporate accessibility and keyboard navigation into your applications. Uh, GSAP is an animation library um, that really gives you great control over your animations. Um, you can handle everything with JavaScript, it's really great. Uh, both of them have great documentation um, that, again, I encourage you to check out and some really great guides to help you get started uh, with your next front-end project. Now, while well, this goes ahead and uh, finishes up, I think uh, as soon as we're done here, we're going to drop in a couple of other libraries we're going to need. Um, one from Schrocker UI Icons. Um, so let's first CD into our application directory and we're going to install dependencies with npmi there we go we'll give that just a second to run and then we'll add in our icons and bring in that gsap library from before there you go give that just a second and ding fries are done uh, so we'll go ahead and start our application with npm start and uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look, see at uh, what we have here. I'll give that one second to fire up and let's take a look. There we go. Now you see here we got a nice little you know logo, a little starter. Up in the top right, pretty cool little icon to help you switch your light in dark mode themes. Already baked in there, it's pretty awesome. I dig it but a little bit off topic. So let's go ahead and jump into our browser, or excuse me, our IDE, uh, and we'll open up our application folder. There we go. Yep, that's the one. Alrighty. Now, let's go ahead and get everything lined up here. All right, now uh, we're going to get started in our source directory here. Uh, this is where they have the application, of course. And we'll go ahead and create a folder called components. And in that folder, we'll create a new file called boxes.jsx. Uh, now in here, we'll need to first uh, import React. And then we're going to be using the hooks uh, use state and use effect. There we go. All right, and then from Chakra, uh, we're going to import uh, flex and box. That's going to give us our layout components. And we'll go ahead and create the component. For now, we're just going to return a fragment uh, just to make sure it works. There we go. And now we're getting ready to do stuff. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, 
slice of states called boxes uh, and tab nine of course I already knew what I was doing because I've done this a few times it's totally awesome you got to check it out but again tangent <laughs> so I got our state slice there uh, and then we're gonna need a function here uh, to create our boxes that we're gonna be pushing into state so let's uh, create a function called make boxes takes a single argument for how many you want and it'll push boxes into that array and now for a use effect call we'll go ahead and put this up at the top with our other hooks calls uh, that's not it. yes that was it <laughs> there we go and this will uh, run on component render and get us a hundred boxes all right now let's go down to our return statement and replace our fragment here uh, with a flex box there we go just realized I probably should have turned off my AI auto completion before this but well won't worry too much about that let's give our flex uh, a couple of attributes here uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this from my repository there we go we'll give that flex flow of row wrap that's basically shorthand for flex direction and flex flow uh, give it a gap of four and then we'll justify content to the center and go ahead and open our flex box up and now we're going to map over our array of boxes now we want to make sure the boxes actually exist first or it won't render so i just put in just a basically a little null check right there for us now our uh, boxes jsx file should be completely done um, i'll make sure that matches what i've got in the repo and there's our boxes not a whole lot to that so let's go ahead and create our button uh we'll call this one a scroll to top jsx there you go and uh just like the other one uh we're going to use react use state use effect and we're going to import a couple of other items here uh so let me go ahead and just take the shortcut there we're going to take the icon button from our shocker react library and the uh, arrow up icon from icons and import our animation library uh, let's create a functional component uh, scroll to top of course and just like with uh, our last one we're just going to return a fragment here until we get some functionality added to it now uh state will be our first thing uh, we're going to set two slices of state or well this slice is is visible set is visible and that's going to let us know whether we need to see it or not and then next we're going to store a reference to our scroll button uh, use ref is a nifty little thing in react uh, if you don't already know go play with the docs um, it is handy and they have lots and lots of handy things uh, we'll need a function to help us handle that scroll that user interaction so that's basically going to look for if the window has been scrolled more than 100 pixels away from the top and then change our is visible slice of state appropriately and finally we'll need a function to handle the click on our button when we do show it there we go and that'll just scroll us back up to the top with a smooth scroll and it'll remove focus from that element after it's clicked on so we don't get that weird browser blue outline on it now there is uh, an API in GSAP for this, um, but I found it easier just to use the standard window API, which personally I think is generally best to use standard web APIs where you can, when you don't need the extra weight or the extra functionality of a library. So let's go ahead and put our use effect call into here, uh, right under our other hooks. And this is going to add an event listener uh, to our window when it mounts. And important thing here, when the component unmounts, you want to make sure that we remove uh, the event listeners. You know, always good to do a little bit of housekeeping. And here at the end, you'll notice you have this uh, array that's the dependency array. With it being empty like that, this means it's going to run once, and that's going to be on load. Leave that open, it's going to run every single render. You don't want that to happen. It's going to end up spamming the heck out of you. Uh, now our second call uh, to use effect. Uh, it's going to list for a change 
in the is visible slice of state. So let's go ahead and drop that in there. And I'm gonna use GSAT there to animate it between two different states. Um, animating the opacity and the Z index. Of it. So that way it's nice and out of the way when we don't need it. And when we do, it's there. Uh, now let's go ahead and build our icon. We're gonna replace that fragment uh, with an icon. There we go. And this is our uh, icon button component from Shocker UI. And we wanna give that an ARIA label. Scroll to top, so if you're using a screen reader, you know what it is. So uh, you scroll to top JSX, should be flushed out. And again, I'm just gonna make sure that matches my GitHub. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and import them into app. So here we'll uh, import the two. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same copy paste here that I did for my repo. Now, the only difference is these couple lines. We have boxes imported from its place, scroll to top, imported. Uh, imported from components as well and we just drop them down here uh, underneath the uh, little chakra box inside that provider so it gets all the nifty little bits so we'll go ahead and take a look at our react app and uh, see what we have here all right all right cool so you can see here uh, there's the original and we got all our boxes and a little button look at that scrolls right up fades away Pops in when you need it, goes away when you don't. Lovely. <laughs> so that uh, that basically wraps it up. Um, there wasn't a whole heck of a lot to that. Uh, it's uh, pretty easy libraries to use. But of course, this was just touching on something I think was a, a, a very simple uh, component that could be very useful uh, in many people's applications or in many cases. Um, but I thought it was just a nice little introduction, I would say. Um, so yeah, again, feel free, uh, jump on to the GitHub, take a look at the code. Heck, you can even play around with it. Uh, submit something to me if you want to. Maybe we'll go back and work on it. If there's any more topics uh, in this video that you want me to touch on a little bit more, uh, any requests, anything you'd like to see, go ahead, drop me a comment. Let me know. Um, always looking for new ideas to create some content out there. So uh, guys, thanks so much. Um, we got our nice little, nice little component plays nice you can drop it into anything uh thanks so much for checking it out github link in the comments uh as well as links to shocker ui and gsap two fantastic libraries that make life easier thanks again like subscribe smash all that good stuff you guys have a great one and i'll uh i'll come up with a better exit the next time right <laughs> have a good one guys